to Movement Morning. This week, I think, I call it the ALIGN workshop. ALIGN, A-L-I-G-N, this acronym. Each letter standing for something that we need to bring awareness to. Alignment is the full word, but ALIGN. A for activating the body. So I use this word ALIGN of how we want to bring structure and awareness to this body by finding balance, finding flexibility, and finding strength. We start with this physical body. In the Daisy Upanishad, they share with us the teachings of the yoga practice and understanding the kosha, the physical, the five sheets, pancha kosha, five layers of our being. And the outermost layer is this physical body, the annamaya kosha. Anna meaning food, kosha meaning the sheet. This is the part of our existence that we're most aware of. This is what we identify with, the physical body, made up of the things that we consume, the foods that we eat. And to take care of this body, we eat healthy, we exercise, we get rest, to keep this physical body strong and healthy. So in the ALIGN acronym, A, activate the body. Keep it moving, keep it active. So today the focus is on awareness to all parts of the body, engaging in various postures and bringing your awareness to how does the body feel, the comfort level you experience in the posture, and allowing the body to take on the form that is comfortable. Try not to strain the body in any way. And slowly easing into postures with movement and acknowledgement of the breath. Starting here, Sukhasana. Hands, Gyan Mutra. Sit nice and tall. Close your eyes. Take a moment to mentally scan the body. Notice the body. This Annamaya Kosha. Wiggle out your toes and relax your toes. Observe the sensation of your feet, your ankles. Notice how the knees are feeling, your thighs, your hips. And balance yourself, shifting from side to side. Let the sit bones be balanced on the mat. Press into the sit bones and sit up nice and tall, maintaining a vertical posture. Alignment of the head, the neck, and the spine. Stacking the joints in alignment helps to support the body. Allows for good energy flow when the body is in alignment. Relax your shoulders, your elbows. Relax your hands. Wiggle out your fingers. And then bring them back to Gyan Mudra. First finger, thumb together. This gesture of unity. The individual consciousness uniting with the universal consciousness. With your lips sealed, begin to breathe in and out of your nose. Ujjayi Pranaya. And notice the movement of air. As you inhale, the expansion of the lungs. As you exhale, the contraction, the release of the diaphragm muscle. Inhale, feel the lift of the collarbone. The body filling up with fresh oxygen. Exhale, releasing any tension, any strain in the body, releasing carbon dioxide. Your inhale, deep, full breath. Your exhale, complete, cleansing breath. Ujjayi Pranaya. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out from your nose. A victorious breath. Ujjayi. Feel the energy, the expansiveness as you breathe in. And feel the body relaxing as you breathe out, releasing any tightness, any strain in the body. 
the body, let it go. Awareness is Annamaya Kosha. This food sheet, the temple that houses our soul. Every day we activate this body. Movement, exercise, stretching, and relaxing the body to keep the body balanced, the systems in the body harmonious. Today, awareness to this outermost sheet of the Pancha Kosha. Relax your breath now. Come back to your natural breathing. Let's chant three ohms together to begin the practice. A deep breath in. Stretch your arms up. 
So you're facing the long side of your neck. The right toe is pointing to the long side and the short, the left toe is to the short side. Check down at your feet. See that the heels are in line. Bend into that left knee, releasing any tension in that left knee. And then bringing alignment to your knee directly over the ankle. Turn your body so your shoulders and your hips are facing the short side of the neck. Bring your arms up alongside your ears. Your right foot, take as back as you can, as far back as you can, and press into your pinky toe of that right foot. Your hips and shoulders square to the top of the mat. Fingers are tight, arms close to your ears, and hold here. Vira Badrasana, one. Three breaths. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Exhale, and now open the arms. Shoulders, hips. Our feet don't move. Warrior two is with open arms and open hips. Look towards your left hand. Feel the engagement of the whole body here. This Annamaya Kosha, this outer sheath that we most identify with. Feel the strength of the body. Your fingers tight, elbows, shoulders, everything in line. Keeping that left knee gently placed over the ankle. 90 degree bend. Hold warrior two. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Relax that left knee. Release any tension there. And then come back into a gentle bend again. Coming to reverse warrior. Diparista Vira Badrasa. The right hand goes to the back leg. Left hand comes above the head. Tilt your head back, pointing the chin up towards your palm. Slide the right hand down the back leg, getting into a nice deep side body stretch. Hold. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Come back to warrior two. Arms stretch. Hips open. And now we close. Turn back. To the front of the mat, hips and shoulders facing forward, and bring your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers behind, shoulders facing forward. Come forward now, your left shoulder coming towards your left knee, coming into a, a humble warrior posture. Vada Vira Badrasana. Lift the arms off the back side, feeling your shoulder blades pressed together. Continue to press into that pinky toe, that right foot to hold stable. Your back is nice and flat. Arms lifted off the back side. Hold. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Release the hand. Bring one hand on either side of that left foot. And lift yourself up slowly, coming back to warrior one. Vira Bhagavasana 1. Your hips and shoulders square to the top of the mat. Straighten that left knee whenever you need, whenever there's any tightness or strain, release it. Don't hold it if there's any um, pain. We want to keep light and loose in our limbs so there's no strain. And then finally, when you feel comfortable, come back. Warrior 3 is a balanced pose. Vira Bhadrasana 3. Bring your hands to the mat. One hand on either side of that left foot. And just shift your body forward and backwards, preparing for the balance. The left foot supporting the body. The right foot raised. Parallel to the ground. Whenever you're ready, shift the body forward. Take your time. Right leg lifted. Find your focal point. Any mark out in front of you where you can keep your gaze on. Your hands can stay on the mat, or if you have blocks nearby, hands on the block. Or you can bring your hands to the heart if you feel comfortable and balanced. Keep your gaze forward. Your hands can be stretched out if you'd like. Try to keep that right leg lifted, parallel to the ground. Hold for three. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. 
The right leg lower to the back of your mat. Come back to warrior one. Speed of Adrasana one. And then relax your left knee. Hands come to the heart. And then face back to the long side of your mat. Relax the knees. Sink into your hips. Any tension in the knees, let it go. And then we do the same movement on the other side. Warrior sequence. Left toes to the long side, right toes to the short side. Sink into that right knee now. Alignment, the right knee over the ankle. And the left foot, take it back as far as you feel comfortable, and then press into that pinky toe. Warrior one, you're facing the short side of the mat. Your arms lifted alongside your ears. Close hips, close shoulders. Palms facing each other. Keeping the arms close to your ears. Look forward. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Exhale, open the arms. Warrior two. Palms face down. Hips are open. Shoulders are open. Looking towards your right hand. Again, any tension in that right knee, let it go. Loosen it up. And then come right back into the posture when you're ready. Alignment. Hands in one straight line. Your right knee over the ankle. Hips open, shoulders open. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Exhale. Coming to Viparita Virabhadrasana. Reverse warrior. Left hand sliding down the back leg, and right hand comes above you. Point your chin up and lean back. Hold here. Feeling the stretch here in the side body. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Warrior two. Come right back. And now turn the body so you're facing again the short side of your mat. Warrior one. Arms lifted alongside your ears. Bring the hands down to the mat for a moment. And then you can bring your hands to the back. Here you can start with humble warrior, a little bit lower than before. Your back is flat. Right shoulder to the right knee. Interlace your fingers on the back side and lift the arms off the back. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Let the crown of your head point down. And slowly see if your arms lift up a little higher. Feel the engagement of the upper back muscles, the shoulders. Humble warrior, bowing down to this sheet that we're aware of, the Andamaya Kosha. Breathe in one, breathe out. Breathe in two, breathe out. Breathe in three. Release your hands, frame that right foot. One hand at the side of that right foot. Come back up, warrior one. Observe the sensation in your right knee. Any tension, let it go. Sink into it, straighten it. And then finally, we come to our balanced posture. Warrior three. Bring your hand down, frame that right foot one more time. And shift the whole body forward and backwards. Now we prepare the right leg for the standing to support the balance. Whenever you're ready, weight comes forward. Take your time, lift that left leg off the ground, bringing it parallel to the ground. Find your focal point, drishti. Anytime when you're ready, your hands can come together at the heart. You can stretch your arms out to the side, out in front of you, whatever feels comfortable. Holding Vida Bhadrasana three. Breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in two. Breathe out. Breathe in three. Left foot lower it to the back of your mat. Come back to warrior one. Hand come to the heart. And now open up the hips. Face back to the long side of the mat. Arms open wide. Relax the arms. Slide your hands down to the ankles, come forward. Rasarista Padottanasana. 
Bring yourself forward, tuck your chin into your chest. Top of the head points down. Relaxing the body here. Bring your hands to the center of your mat. Press your palms down firmly, bend your knees generously. Go ahead and bend and release. Lower your hips and then push them back up. Look out in front of you for a moment. Keep the back flat. Now we come to a side lunge. Skanda. Walk your hands to the right side of your body. One hand on either side of the right foot. Bend into your right knee. Skanda. A side lunge. Left leg extended. You can press into your heel or press into the big toe to support. See if you'd like to take a balance here. Align. Today, we think of the letter A in align for activate the body. The more we move, the more we engage the body. Keep activity allows for fluidity in the body. So the body stays healthy, balanced. Let's take ourselves to the other side. Walking the hands towards your left foot. Start with the hands, one on either side of the left knee. Press into your right heel. And whenever you're ready, find the balance. If you have a block, you can put the block underneath the knee or hold the block on either side. Take yourself against the wall if you'd like. Whatever you need to find the balance. Use support anytime. Awareness. To what this body needs, this Annamaya Kosha. Hold one more breath. Exhale. Release the hands. Walk your hands back to the center. Straighten your knees. Push your hips up. Relax in the upper body. Press the Nasana. Make a little space between your hands. Press into your palms. Heel and toe your feet up just a little bit more. And then bend your elbows generously. Bend your knees generously. See if the top of the head can come down towards the earth. And if you have a block nearby, you can put your block under your head. Let your head rest on the block. Hold here. Push your hips up. And get as deep as you can to this forward stretch. An inversion. Holding for just a couple of breaths. As low as you can get. Pushing your hips up. Observe the sensation throughout the body. Press into your hands. Straighten your elbows, straighten your knees. Look out in front of you. See if you can keep your hands on the ground and slowly heel toe your feet together, coming into Malasana. Garlic toe. Lower your hips down. Bring your hands to your heart. Push your elbows into your knees. Find stability here. You can always sit on the block. If you need to, if there's any strain or any tension in the hip. Taking the time, pulling the elbows away from the knees. You can feel a little taller, aligning, shoulders over the hip. Push the knees open. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Dandasana. Right knee, pull it in to the chest. Adhamastendrasana, half final twist. Crossing the right foot over the left knee. Hug that left knee in close to the body. With your right hand, wrap it around the lower back. Turning towards your right side, look over your right shoulder. On the inhale, sit tall. On the exhale, twist. Observe here. The sensations on the back body. Twisting to help maintain Flexibility in the spine. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, twist a bit more. And then slowly unwind. Counter twist. Come back to center. Switch the legs. Hug the left knee in. Cross it over. Adhamastindrasana. Half final twist. Pull that left knee close to the body. With the left hand, you can place it behind you. Try not to put too much weight on that left hand. Or you can wrap it around the back side. See what feels comfortable. And twist. Try to keep your shoulders level. Look over the left shoulder. Sit tall. Your breath in. Feeling taller. Your breath out. Giving you space to twist. 
Observe here. Balancing the nervous system with twists. The nerves that run alongside the spine, active. One more breath in. Exhale and unwind. Counter twist. And look back to center. Sukhasana. Come back to the nice easy pose. Bring your hands behind your back. Holding onto the right wrist with your left hand. Sit tall. From the waist, hinge forward, bow down. Bringing your forehead towards the earth, your shoulders towards your knees. You can always place a block under your forehead to feel the connection of the head to the earth. Awareness to this outermost sheath of the pancha kosha, the annamaya kosha, this physical sheath, which houses our soul. We keep this body healthy, clean, nourished. As we work towards knowing our true nature, we identify with the sheath and we slowly release ourselves from this identity as we move inner to our inner awareness. Om Shanti 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 Find yourself comfortable. Sukhasana. Closing the eyes. Hands, Gyan Mudra. Take a few moments in Dhyana. <laughs> 